Donald Prothero is a geologist and a paleontologist at uh, Occidental College. I've had the uh, good fortune of debating him before with uh, uh, Richard Sternberg. Uh, we had a two-on-two -two debate uh, to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the publication of The Origin of Species in uh, 2009. The evolutionary biologist Richard Sternberg, formerly of the Smithsonian Institution and the National Institutes of Health, was my partner in the debate. Prothero teamed up with uh, the editor of Skeptic Magazine, uh, Michael Shermer. And uh, so I've had an interaction with, with, uh, with Prothero before. And Donald Prothero's review was really interesting because it was very long. And some of the people who critiqued the, the, the critiques characterized it as a kind of rant. Uh, and it did have a strange quality to it where he was throwing everything but the kitchen sink at the book. And he made a lot of charges about things that I allegedly said that I clearly didn't say. For example, he said that I claimed that Stephen Jay Gould and Niles Eldridge denied that evolution uh, took place. But I had a whole chapter on their evolutionary theory known as punctuated equilibrium and very clearly explained that they thought evolution did take place, but it took place uh, at a much more rapid pace when it was in its innovation stage in the periods of punctuation and that it uh, didn't do much during the long periods of stasis, which they called equilibrium. So it, I very clearly characterize it as a different theory of evolution, not that Gould and Eldridge denied that evolution happened. He also claimed that I dismissed the Ediacaran fauna out of hand. These are, these are uh, or mysterious, enigmatic organisms that arise in the Precambrian. And actually I have a whole chapter on the Ediacaran fauna, and in the chapter I explain contrary to what Prothero says, that leading experts do not find them to be convincing ancestral precursors to the Cambrian. They simply lack clear uh, anatomical affinities with those later uh, Cambrian forms. And in fact, many experts doubt that Ediacaran are even animals at all. In fact, I would say most do. So Prothero accused me of dismissing them out of hand and uh, ignoring the, the, the clear evidence for their being ancestral precursors to the Cambrian when most leading paleontologists and indeed experts on the Ediacaran do not regard them as ancestral forms. In his review, Prothero makes one other claim, which is the absence of ancestral precursors to the Cambrian animals in the lower Precambrian strata is a byproduct of the incomplete preservation of those animal forms. In other words, he affirms something called the artifact hypothesis. He further faults me for dishonestly failing to report that the artifact hypothesis has adequately explained away the absence of ancestral precursors in the Precambrian strata. Now, that's a very odd thing to say, first of all, because I have a whole chapter on the artifact hypothesis, and I report the, the different uh, versions of the artifact hypothesis that have been proposed. But I also refute the artifact hypothesis uh, in part by showing that some amazing discoveries in southern China have made it untenable. For example, one of the things that paleontologists have discovered recently in southern China is that uh, is some small microscopic sponge embryo fossils in the Precambrian strata beneath the layers that document the explosion of the Cambrian animals. This is a really shocking find because it challenges the artifact hypothesis by showing that it was completely possible to preserve small and, uh, and soft-bodied creatures in the lower Precambrian animals. One of the main reasons that, the, uh, that proponents of the artifact hypothesis cite for the absence of Precambrian uh, ancestors to the Cambrian animals is that the depositional environment in the Precambrian times was not capable of preserving soft or microscopic creatures. But we now have soft microscopic creatures uh, preserved in the Precambrian strata. And if the Precambrian strata can preserve sponge embryos, why didn't it preserve the ancestral forms of all the other animals that first appear in the Cambrian period? Um, th this is simply not explained by the artifact hypothesis. In fact, this finding challenges the artifact hypothesis, and I explain it in detail uh, in, in Darwin's Doubt in the chapter on the artifact hypothesis. So far from dishonestly uh, portraying the Cambrian explosion as a real event, I actually refute the artifact hypothesis, and I cite other authorities such as James Valentine and Doug Irwin, who also regard the Cambrian explosion as a real event, not something that can be explained as an artifact of incomplete preservation or incomplete sampling in the fossil record.